So you've waited long enough for this. It's the international fan reaction for our team. Wolverhampton Wonders won. Leeds United, nil. We've done the double over and kept clean sheets against them. Entertaining game, but the reactions are really, really good. And you're going to have a smile on this one. And I guarantee you, there's a bit of comedy gold inside of it as well. So without any further ado, let's go around the world. Yes. That was uh, that was Wolves one Leeds nil, and uh, regular viewers on this channel will know what the winning tank card means. Oh, that's good. It's a Wolves win. Yeah, you know what? God, it was. A, I I really enjoyed watching the game, uh, particularly first half. Now we rode our luck a bit. Let's be honest. I mean, if you're a Leeds fan, you're going to be gutted. You didn't uh, at least get a point from that game uh, but at the same time we've really competed we didn't let Leeds play at all the way they like to play um, I thought it was some good performances today Moutinho was great I've criticised him in the past I thought he was great tonight Rui Patricio I mean how many times did he save us is it four or five uh, times he's really saved us fantastic uh, fantastic I went to Norwegian man anyway uh, that's great news we've won the weekend's going to be great now uh, this is Chris from uh, Eisfall in Norway uh, cheers everyone it's uh, it's going to be a good weekend hey Dave Wolfman Jeff here on the porch here in Alabama so uh, just a brief response uh, it was during work again so I kind of watched it in the corner of my eye or listened to it uh, certainly paid attention uh, to when that uh, Adama goal happened I uh, have to admit that was a bit of luck and uh, a bit of bad luck for Leeds. And uh, so good good on him. Uh, he's uh, Adam's worked really hard, hasn't had quite the uh, fruits of his labor yet. I thought for sure Neto was going to score. He just kept pushing and pushing. Um, overall, very pleased with, with the entire side. I thought Semedo had one of his better matches. Uh, I thought uh, Jean Moutinho was solid. Uh, it was good to... We just uh, there, there was a few there was a few times I was a little worried, but uh, the the person who uh, I think helped make sure it was a clean sheet was Rue Patricio, and uh, he gets my man of the match. But uh, it's really close on a few others there. Uh, the only complaint I have is uh, obviously we haven't seen Jose score, but I think the reason why uh, William hasn't scored yet is they're still working on linking up and still connecting. Uh, so a lot of the, we had a lot of shots on goal early, but a lot of them came out deep. And so rather than setting plays, they're just taking their shots when they got them. And which is an improvement from when we weren't even doing that. But I still think we've got to work on that better. I do like how they switch sides. And I do think that uh, Adama is linking up better with Johnny. And Neto can link up with anybody. So I think that's, that's going to help us. So I'm feeling a over, a very positive. We're moving in the right direction. If we could just work on that front third, uh, just as far as for that last little bit, um, I think we're going to be seeing s some more goals come in. So also kind of worried about Marsal. Uh, he was on and he left pretty quickly. So, uh, so I mean, I, I see his skills, but, uh, uh, just, uh, if he was a D and D character, you could see he has a low constitution score. So, uh, Anyway, this is my thoughts. This is Wolfman Jeff here in Alabama on the porch. Dave, thank you. Fans, Brian from Hatch House, Sam Round in Thailand. Uh, well, we put back to back wins together the first time that's happened for a long time. Last night's game against Leeds, I thought was a decent game. Uh, Wolves played well, especially in the first half. We had a couple of chances. Uh, Pedro Neto brought a good, good save out for the Leeds keeper. Samedo had a chance. At the other end, they had the woodwork uh, from an acute angle, and had, uh, there was a point blank. Had a save by by Rui. Uh, yeah, we played well in the first half, really well. Second half we came out. I thought it was an evenly uh, evenly matched second half, uh, but we we got a goal through uh, a blistering effort by Adama Triori, which uh, resulted in a fortunate goal. Hit the hit the woodwork, came down, hit the back of the Leeds keeper, and in, in the back of the net. So uh, yeah, we. 
got one in in front. Uh, Leeds, uh, well, everybody knows the way Leeds play. They just attack, and they got uh, they got an equaliser, which they thought was ruled out by VAR. Probably we've had a bit, a little, little bit of luck, go with, especially in the Southampton game with a penalty and that last night. Man of the match would have been Samedo, but for the last 15 minutes, Rui kept us in the game, so I would have said Rui, uh, Rui Patricio. Uh, hurry up, uh, back Willy Bolly, because we looked a bit iffy in defence with the eyeballs that came kept on coming in uh, into the box. But, uh, yeah, three points, move on to Newcastle. See you next week. Stay safe, everyone. Hope your dad's all right. Dave, bye. Hello. Hello. Amy and Wilf from We Are At. Where are we, Dad? We're at Whitwick Manor, which is a national trust property in Wolverhampton. How far is that from the Molyneux? Probably less than a mile and a half, I'd say. It's it beautiful. Uh, we sat here having lunch, having walked from Wombourne, which is uh, where we live. Uh, but you walked from Wombourne, I didn't. No, you came in the car. <laughs> you youngsters. Anyway, <laughs> what did you think about the game last night? It took me back a bit. Well, God, go thinking, on then. I think thinking 49 years ago when I was on the North Bank and Wolves Look at the beat camera. Leeds 2-1 to deny Leeds the double. Uh, one of the best nights of my life. Uh, as a Look at the fan. camera. Look at the camera. I'm oh, looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are always And you. what do you... You don't really like Leeds, do you? Tell everyone why you don't like Leeds. What happened oh. when you were in Leeds? Well, Where did you run away and hide in? In the year of the coal miners' strike, in 1973, Wolves played Leeds in the FA Cup. And uh, they were drawn away, so we had a. We didn't go to school, and we went to a match in the afternoon at Leeds. <laughs> Never told by, me you used to get to school. Coaching. We missed this out of the story. <laughs> well, we didn't have to go to school because it was a minor strike. So, oh, okay. uh, Come on. so we went to uh, Ellen Road, and uh, the police kindly directed us into the wrong end. <laughs> so we ended up walking into the Leeds end <laughs> with all our war scarves on, and uh, it wasn't a very pleasant experience. <laughs> and where did you hide? Uh, in a bin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But then we... also against Leeds in the FA Cup, uh, when we lost in the semi-final at Main Road, the same thing happened. Uh, we were directed into the uh, Main Road with the Kipax side and uh, half was Wolves, half was Leeds and the police put us in the Leeds end. So that was nice as so well. So basically, Dad really, Dad doesn't, Dad would rather the Albion win than Leeds oh, win. I don't know about that. But, uh, <laughs> That's what you've said before. Anyway, I enjoyed last night for that reason. Anyway, enjoyed last night. So what what, what did you enjoy about last night? The result. Okay. And the performance. performance. Uh, and the goal was terrific. Uh, I know it was a bit fortunate, but he deserved it. So uh, I thought in the end, uh, well-deserved win. Although in saying that, Leeds did correct some chance. Yeah. And much agrees with me to say Leeds are quite an attractive team. And uh, I think... They be good probably to see. did deserve a draw, really, but anyway, they didn't guess it, did they? So uh, I was not swings and roundabouts, eh? Is, it is. So to get the double of them and not concede any goals, and uh, it's yeah, the season's going on the up and up now. So uh, you never know; it might just make the top half, uh, and uh, even might be a bit better than that. Do you we'll think see. they're going to get into Europe? Probably a bit too far, maybe, but you never know. You can put a few results together; it could happen. We'll see. And who was your man in the match? Uh, Patricio, I think, because he made some fantastic saves, I think. Yeah, it kept us in the game and uh, back to him, we got three points, I reckon. And who was your man in the match, your favourite player that scored, Mum? Oh, Tank Troy, all right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Love to see him play. Bye. Bye. Oh, we're not saying bye, yes, are we? <laughs> <laughs> but what do you want to finish on? Bye. <laughs> so, hi, guys. And here from uh, Montreux in Switzerland above the lake. Um, Good, solid win last night. It was end-to-end -end stuff. Could have gone either way. Um, we had our chances. Um, Neto played as well as ever. Troy, I thought, uh, came through, came through well. Um, played his part, and what a what a striking shot he made, uh, which uh, caused and created that goal. Uh, there's Keiko in the background there. She, she enjoyed it too. And uh, well, my man of the match is Rui Patricio. I thought he uh, made so many saves and. Uh, managed to get in the way of everything heading goalwards so he really saved us uh, Leeds always throw people forwards uh, and they did that last night and our defence uh, was compact and held up and uh, saved the day and again thanks to Rui Hello there Chris here in Athens Wolves won Leeds nil much 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 better performance very very happy with that uh, I think since the second half in Southampton and then to, uh, today's game against Leeds, much better performance. Wolves back to their old selves. Uh, I think as Wolves fans, we should all thank Pedro Neto's mum. 
uh, for telling him to shoot more often. That was very exciting in the first half. Two or three shots from Pedro Neto. Uh, very good, forced a very good save from, from their goalkeeper in the first half. Um, I thought it was a fair and balanced game, a good, a good game, entertaining game, like fair play to Leeds. Uh, they played very well. They created a few chances and were unlucky to score themselves. Like I think uh, we have to thank Patricio for some fantastic saves uh, during the match. And uh, that goal, I mean, well done to Adama Traore. It was a great run, a great strike, a bit of luck for it to bounce you know, off the goalkeeper, but I don't think Traore's had much luck uh, for a good while now. So I think uh, all credit should go to, should go to him. Uh, fantastic to have Johnny back. We look more solid uh, and just much better since Johnny's back. Um, unfortunately, I think that Marcel came on and then picked up an injury uh, after like not very long at all. So that'll be a concern, of course, for us. And, and Traore was also holding his back after the goal. So I hope um, there's nothing too serious uh, with those two players. But um, much better performance. Man of the match for me would once again be... Um, Pedro Neto, but um, Patricia did well as well. Um, much better. Formation suits us much better. Um, we just need to keep pushing on from, from here on. I mean, uh, we've got now had a run of good results. Uh, Arsenal game was not very good, really, and we managed to get a result. Uh, but today, much better. Hoping for more like this. So, from Athens, good stuff. Uh, always Wolves. Hey Dave, Neil from Gaffer's Bar uh, in Tenerife, the home of Tenerife Wolves. Uh, I'm actually at home at the moment because uh, we have to close at 10pm because of the, the COVID restrictions. But anyway, uh, we had quite a few Wolves fans in the bar tonight, um, all uh, cheering Wolves on. Uh, a great result. Uh, performance was okay, I thought. Thought we played. We thought we played really well from start to finish. It wasn't a game of two halves as it normally is. I thought we uh, we attacked Leeds from the start. Uh, came to our rescue as he should. He's a top goalkeeper. Top goalkeeper. He did his. Uh, he he earned his money tonight. Um, I think um, Neto was brilliant. Traore was <laughs> average, but. Great shot that, that created the goal. I actually missed the goal. I was in the toilet. <laughs> I was in the toilet and and they scored. I thought, oh, well, nothing's happening here. And and obviously uh, they scored. So um, I missed the goal, but I saw the replays. But um, again, a bit fortunate to come back off the crossbar, hit the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. So, yeah, brilliant performance from Wolves, I thought, today. They battled, they they worked really hard, every single player, even Silva when he came on as sub, um, you could see him chasing and chasing and um, it looked like every single one of them wanted that tonight and, and they worked hard, at least not an easy side, I know some some teams put a lot of goals past them but their keepers kept them in it first half um, and Patricio's kept us in it second half. I think it's been a. It was a good game, and everybody enjoyed it who watched it in Gaffer's Bar. It was a more of an end-to-end -end game than we normally see. <laughs> and for the man of the match, I am. Not many people may agree with me. I want to give it to Connor Cody. I thought the guy was an absolute rock today. He was brilliant. He was uh, everything Wolves is about. Was Connor Cody today? Um, um, he was just brilliant. He was getting in the way of things. He organised the defence well, and um, I think the guy's a legend. And he did a great performance. So, my man of the match, Connor Cody, and uh, see you all soon, guys. And keep uh, tuning into Dazzling Dave. And hopefully, uh, see you all in Gaffer's Bar very, very soon. Hey, Dave. Dave from New York Wolves here, and. Um... No prizes for guessing that I'm not in Hawaii anymore. Uh, back home in a still snowing uh, Connecticut. Uh, so I will make this brief before I get too cold. Um, just watched Wolves Leeds. Uh, whew, that was an intense match. Um, I think the commentators here said uh, we're giving Nuno a lot of credit um, for basically matching Leeds. Uh, we almost out Leeds. Leeds. That's really difficult to say. Um, we went at them with the same intensity, and I think that's what ultimately won us the game. Uh, but it was very, very close, very tense. Uh, the stats I looked at 
seemed to lean towards Leeds a little bit more than it felt. I felt like we maybe just edged it on chances and so on. But, you know, the we... I can't really say we took the one chance that we had. We the, we we scored, um, had that little slice of luck um, for the the rebound uh, going in off the goalkeeper. But let's be honest, Trey already deserved a goal for that cracking run from the left and a superb shot. I thought he'd hurt himself when he did it, but he kept going. Uh, and you know we got to be honest at the back there were there were quite a few instances where Leeds floated across in and it just went over our defence and fell in at the back post. I'm not sure what was going on there. Uh, but thankfully, um, Patricio was on his game and kept it out. And then obviously that chance for Costa at the end. Uh, he really should have scored that, but thank you, Mr. Costa. You didn't. And we held on for the win. Uh, I think it was a great performance all round. Uh, I think Silva looked really sharp when he came on. I think he's been showing signs in some of the games, but he looked even, you know, I think this was his best cameo today. I mean, obviously only about 10 minutes. Um, William Jose, I'm not sure what to make of him. He doesn't seem to get the ball much. Um, I don't know if he's not making the right runs or players don't trust him yet. That's just a little curious to me that, you know, we've got an obvious replacement for Raul there. Obviously, he's not Raul, but in terms of his size, skill, position, etc., he's the replacement and we don't seem to be using him. So curious to see how that uh, plays out. Um, but, you know, overall, very happy. Back-to-back uh, -back wins, uh, jumped above Leeds, still in the bottom half, unfortunately, but... You know, six points off the European places, and I think it's only nine points off fourth. So a lot of games to be played, a lot of points to be won. So let's keep going and uh, let's keep playing like that. Up the walls. Really hope that you've enjoyed this one. I um, hope you had a smile and a chuckle. You're feeling proud about where what's happening in the last few games. Ten points out of 12. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, if you want to get involved representing your country, drop a comment below. Uh, please, if you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell notifications if you are. And, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Uh, next up is going to be uh, Newcastle United away. From myself and all the fans around the world, always Wolves.